Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the magnitude of a vector in two dimensions. Now suppose we had say a vector a which was equal to 4i minus 3j. Remember i and j are the unit vectors parallel to the x and y axis respectively. So what would the vector 4i minus 3j look like? Well it could be placed anywhere on our grid, say something like this, where we go four units in the i direction and three units in the negative j sense, that'd be coming downwards. Now, by magnitude of a vector, what we mean is finding the length of the vector. And the symbol that we often use to represent magnitude or length is given by this symbol where we put two straight lines either side of our vector. Or you could just leave it as simply A. Both of these represent the length. We Notice that I don't write when you're writing it handwriting a squiggle underneath the A. So how do I get this length? The modulus, the magnitude if you like, as some people call it, of a vector. Well, it's very simple. All we need to do is apply Pythagoras' theorem. It doesn't matter, as I say, where that vector is. Let's just bring this vector over to here. The length will still be exactly the same. But what we do, as I say, we apply Pythagoras' theorem to this. So we think of a triangle round here and down here, and we look at the lengths of the sides. The length of this side will be 4 units. The length of this side, I know it's negative 3j, but the length will just be simply 3 units. So by Pythagoras' theorem, that magnitude of a is going to equal the square root of the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides here. So that would be 4 squared plus the 3 squared. We don't need to write that minus in. And if you do this, it would be the square root of 16 plus 9, the square root of 25. In other words, 5. So the magnitude or modulus of this vector is going to be 5 units. And that's how you can work out the magnitude of any two-dimensional vector. Just simply do the sum of the squares of the components and square root them. So if I had a vector say b and b was the vector say minus 2i plus 5j what would the magnitude of this vector be? Well the magnitude would simply be the square root of the sum of the squares of the components 2 squared plus 5 squared and so here we've got 4 plus 25 which is 29 and it would be root 29 and I would leave it like that because it doesn't square root very nicely. So I hope that's given you an idea then how you can find the magnitude or modulus which represents the length of our vector in two dimensions. Just simply use Pythagoras' theorem.